Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will talk about cut and paste coding. Of course, you don't have to know how to code since most of coding you'll be doing will, sim will simply be cutting and pasting from the internet. But I'll explain the basics of Arduino coding that you'll need to know to write and understand any code. The first thing you need to do is to download an Arduino software from the official Arduino site.
which you run it, you should get a screen like that. When you run it, you should get a screen like this. Then this window will show up. Once this, this open, go ahead and plug your Arduino into your computer USB port. Assuming that you have a USB connector. If you don't, you'd better get one because you'll need it to proceed the, the process. Now, to get your light blinking, you'll need to input a specified code that does the job. It's very simple code and it's easy to find. It's available for free on sites. Just highlight the code and paste it right into your Arduino program window, like shown here. Start and read the written lines. You'll find each line after the, the twin slashes isn't a code at all. But it's there to tell you what's happening by explaining exactly what it does. First, it's telling you the Arduino that it has a lid attached to bin 13. Then, it's initializing that bin. After that, it gives the Arduino the details of exactly what it wants to do. Turn, turn the lid on high, wait 1000 milliseconds or 1 second, then turn the lid on low, aka off, then it waits another 1 second and repeats the whole process. Now, go ahead to and upload this uh, this to your uh, board. You'll have to select your Arduino board when you do this. Just make sure it's plugged in. Once you select upload, the program will get sent directly to the Arduino board. As soon as it finishes uploading, your LED will immediately start blinking as wanted. Now, as long as your board has power, it will continue to make the LED, that LED blinking. You can change the delay time as you wish. It's not difficult. You can change the variable of the code without actually knowing anything about coding. It's so cool, right? You can even change which bin on the Arduino you use. For example, go ahead and move the wire from bin 13 to bin 7. And then it changed the code from in integer led equals 13 to int led equals 7. Now you have discovered how to use different bins. Actually, if you plug legs into every bin and then just copy, the, uh, copy and paste the, uh, the code over, uh, over and over again with changing the bin number each time, you would be able to make them all blink. All you have to do to make something work is just to find the diagram, then find the code for it and just make it happen. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you have any questions, please ask in the Q&A board. See you next lesson.